Dust off your converse, it's time to save the universe. Or maybe just learn more about the solar system, or even the human body. Either way, you get the point. You're going to travel to some insane place, go on some crazy adventure, and ultimately, learn something. Doctor Who and the Magic School Bus have quite a lot in common if you think about it. Seriously. A main character who is equal parts wacky and eccentric, that loves to teach people about the wonders of the universe. They both travel in a magical vehicle that can take them back in time or through space. And they both love to keep companions around. So, could Miss Frizzle actually be a Time Lord like the Doctor? If that last sentence went totally over your head, you might not be familiar with the British science fiction show Doctor Who. Doctor Who depicts the adventures of the Doctor, a kind of humanoid alien called a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey. He travels around all of time and space in his TARDIS, which appears to be a blue police call box, but is actually bigger on the inside. Time Lords are unique to the planet Gallifrey. Although they appear as normal humans, they often have two hearts, as well as the power to regenerate. However, it's been said that all of the Time Lords, along with the planet Gallifrey, have been destroyed in the Time War. Except, of course, for the Doctor. But let's bring it back to the 90s for a second. The Magic School Bus set the bar for elementary school science teachers way too high. In one episode, Miss Frizzle takes all of her students to Pluto. Meanwhile, I was doing a science fair project about the water cycle. Miss Frizzle is an eccentric and passionate teacher who has magical clothes, a lizard companion with a driver's license, and, you guessed it, a magical school bus that can travel through space and time. Those quirky characteristics are what causes some fans to draw this out of this world comparison. That Miss Frizzle must be a Time Lord. So, according to this theory, Miss Frizzle is also a survivor of the Time War. She fled Gallifrey in her TARDIS disguised as a school bus along with her companion, Liz the Lizard. Attempting to assimilate into Earth's culture, Frizzle gets a job as an elementary school teacher, sharing her love for science with a bunch of third graders. Sometimes you protect the Earth from aliens, and sometimes from ignorance. Eventually, her Time Lady yearn for adventure kicks in, and she decides to screw permission slips and takes her class all across time and space in her trusty TARDIS. I mean school bus. Why would any of their parents be okay with this? No one, not even anyone on the school board, has called Miss Frizzle out on these ridiculously dangerous field trips. Well, I guess that's nothing a little psychic paper can't cover up. And, like the TARDIS, the Magic School Bus has a personality and can travel through time and teleport. So, let's review. What do Miss Frizzle and a Time Lord have in common? Well, they're both eccentric and adventurous. Their fashion choices are questionable. And we have no idea how old Miss Frizzle actually is because she always starts around the question. So for all we know, she could easily be 903 years old. Plus, she has several companions to explore the universe with in her magic time-traveling school bus. Miss Frizzle, Gallifrey and Refugee exploring the universe with a bunch of nine-year-olds, or just the coolest elementary school teacher ever. Even though the doctor claims to be the last of his kind, that's more or less been disproven throughout the show through some strange technicalities, namely the master. So for all intents and purposes, it's pretty believable that Miss Frizzle also escaped the time war with the stolen TARDIS, but instead chooses to lay low on Earth instead of trying to defend the entire universe. But Others speculate that she might already exist within the Doctor Who universe. Maybe a slightly lesser known Doctor Who character named Iris Wildthyme, who meets the Doctor in his eighth reincarnation. Wildthyme claimed to be a time lady that grew up on Gallifrey, but it was later revealed that she was another race entirely, the Clockworks. Similar to the Time Lords in that they had two hearts and could regenerate, but still different. And most notably about this Iris character, she ultimately escaped her home planet on a stolen TARDIS shaped like a double-decker bus. A bus! Close, but is that enough to convince you? Some think that this character could be someone that shares Miss Frizzle's curly locks. Spoilers, it's River Song. But other than ginger curls, what links Miss Frizzle and River Song? Well, in the Magic School Bus episode, Works Out, the kids go inside of Miss Frizzle and see her heart. 
per one heart. If you were paying attention, Time Lords, as well as Iris Wildthyme, have two hearts. One more than one heart. It's a math lesson in there, somewhere. River Song has one heart, just like Miss Frizzle, and she has even changed her face and name once before. It's entirely possible that being an elementary school science teacher was just one of her many adventures. Or Miss Frizzle really could just simply be a Time War refugee who prefers to leave her life on Gallifrey behind. She might just prefer her time on Earth, her best company being her class of third graders. But really, any explanation makes this theory totally awesome. So on the possibility meter, I give the Miss Frizzle is a Time War conspiracy four sonic screwdrivers out of five. You guys can cast your own vote about what you would give this conspiracy. Download the Channel Frederator app, check the polls, and cast your vote. Make sure you guys subscribe to Channel Frederator, and I'll see you next week. One of the most popular tapes in my household was Disney's Aladdin. Even though that sand tiger cave terrified me, I watched it for the amazing musical numbers and that dreamy Aladdin. But what really kept me coming back was the genie. He totally stole the film with his hilarious pop culture references that went totally over my head as a child, and his awesome magic powers. But pretend for a second that those Aladdin sequels didn't exist. Did you ever wonder what happened to the genie after he was freed? We assumed he kept his powers, but what if he didn't and he became mortal? Is it possible that Genie became the peddler we see at the beginning of the movie? 